Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, I'm going to call this a Hell on Earth update because I can't quite see that it's a World War III update. It's more than a community alert. But anyway, I was afforded some information by somebody who will remain anonymous out of respect for that information. Uh, I'm going to read now from an email that I just received earlier today and I'm just getting to in reference to uh, what's going on with the Olympic Games and the false flags that we're seeing around there. It says, Hi Kevin, uh, thank you for taking the time to hear me out. Right long story short, uh, my sister's husband's father is chief of, of staff for the Thames River security team at the Olympics. He's ex-military and has a long list of service and some fantastic and not so fantastic stories. Well yesterday I had my sister around for a barbecue and normal stuff happened uh, and was talked about. Well anyway, myself being wide awake thought it shit or bust and asked my sister's husband a few questions. Well little did I know he was awake too and was more than happy to fill me in on the story of what's going on with his father and what's going on uh, there. Firstly, the missiles that were brought to everyone's attention in the news, etc., they are called rapier batteries, and though still in commission on paper, are out of date and no longer used for military use because they are unreliable. The second thing he told me that they have RNLI lifeboats, normally managed by civilian part-timers, tooled up, i.e. with enough ammunition and surplus to sink a ship parading around with no one aware at all of their real intent or whatever. So I asked about the 200,000 casket liners that have been r rumored and was told in reply I could times that number by two and yes it was true. Then he dropped the bombshell, no pun intended, that the world, uh, the word in the security nest was that they basically want something to happen, the powers that be want it. and worst case scenario was a yield device taking out a 120 mile radius. Well, I was gobsmacked at the whole thing and be honest, I'm fucking freaked out. I hope you can use this information at your discretion. I for one have made my bug out bag and am ready to go north, if not get out of this godforsaken country altogether and start in Europe somewhere and keep moving. Uh, again, out of respect for the person, I won't release their name or email they'll probably watch this thank you um, for any of you that want to say oh that could that's bullshit that could be anything it, it's the sharing of information that will find us the truth can I confirm any of this no have I met this person in person no do I trust that they're being reasonably honest with me yes enough said that's what I know I'll share it with you and advise you to hang on to your asses